yo hey what's, what's up everybody <laughs> what is what is what is going on here we have a we have a full group of people five of us we never do Almost that that's crazy Brady bunch we're good luck keeping our way it on the rails today the man <laughs> we're, we're slowly moving towards brady bunch material i guess <laughs> all right well as always uh i'm ben the voice of wiz joined by chad the voice of boomstick hello Hi. chad Hi. hear your voice hear that boomstick voice that's me uh and uh we got a couple other people here josh of course hello josh hello good to see you, man. Good to see you does, all does oh, does some writing uh -huh. he's gonna be doing some some directing in the second half of death battle this year as well which is awesome um and then uh we got nick hey here. Back again. <laughs> you thought you were rid uh, of me i'm back nick in his solitary room <laughs> yeah it's so Why sterile is that so the most empty. sterile thing i've ever seen and it's like you threw <laughs> because a box. The flowers. Like, is, there's something yeah, did okay, we like put you in a box office? yeah oh, hang this on. is uh, psych word my son is that I, in, and he's naked so i'll be back <laughs> oh. um, you should probably keep that away from the cameras. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> hey, we're not on Twitch, so we won't get banned, right? So it's fine. Uh, and then That's amazing. Uh, get over banned here. from our own website. Uh, <laughs> there we there go. The sensor, the Perfect. pink sensor block. Oh, uh, we got Billy. Hey, the voice because... of Ringmaster on DBX and hey. Red Death Race. Hey, <laughs> that works, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Same uh, thing. Oh, God, there's something pink here. My dog is also censor. naked, so. I that just looks this is great. wrong when I put that up. Like, well, all right, Billy, it's because like, everybody right. else is censored, I guess Sorry, it's I'm just you and me. Awesome. Well, I guess fantastic. it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> how is Ben's... Uh, right. <laughs> he, he's uh, only Sea Fighter in the chat is asking, how is Ben's hair short and neat, but Chad's is long? I, I've, I've learned how to cut my hair. Chad, do you cut your, have you cut your hair since, since quarantine started? No. Oh my gosh, he's back! Sure, I love you. You got Still it. Happening. Okay, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Please shut the door. Prop a chair on the <laughs> under the door handle. No, that, that was <laughs> my daughter's trying to watch him right now because my wife's on a work call as well, and she just keeps coming. She's like, "He's messing with all your movies." Oh, and there's a big crash. Oh, now someone's screaming. <laughs> Welcome to the Death Battle Cast, the show so that constantly that reminds you of just to not have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> like, uh, this no, seems to be a hair. recurring theme. <laughs> I haven't cut my hair. We, uh, what's, what's actually funny, the reason it's just completely insane, is because um, we filmed Hardcore Mini Golf right before quarantine went into effect. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously we've been talking about Hardcore Mini Golf for a while. Uh, and Jack had reached out, you know, and asked me to be a part of it. And so then they were like, oh, what characters do you want to do? And I was like, oh, you know, I'll lean into, I was like, I was like already at the point where I'd missed a haircut appointment. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll just let my hair grow out from now until then. And I'll just lean into this like wild Scottish golfer thing. Right. Uh, Don't you and, uh, that. uh, and so, <laughs> so then we filmed that and it was like, we wrapped that production. And like, I think it was that following week is when quarantine began. And Ooh. so I, so not only have I not cut my hair since quarantine, but I let it grow out to be insane for that shoot. So perfect. It is really compounded. <laughs> I don't well, know. I'm at the finally point where got an answer. Ever living hell out of me, uh, and I I need to do something <laughs> with it. But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the longer it is, the easier it'll be to cut, right? Because then you can just yank it, chop it off. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan, I mean, right? That's as strong as I could. My Why did a dog get in long. here? And I would just kind of hide it behind my headphones. So if you look at old Death yeah. Battle cast, I had a ton of hair back here just hidden. And I waited <laughs> until like maybe early June. And and Molly, my wife, was just like, we're cutting it. And so she, so we bought clippers on Amazon and she cut my hair for the first time ever. And she did a great job, but it did take like three hours. Because <laughs> she was like, yeah, hey, <laughs> really careful, not wanting to make a mistake or like, you know, whatever. And so it just took, a, it was an afternoon. Uh, but we did it, and uh, who knows when we'll have to do it again. Well, all of your yeah, hair looks right. good, and Billy's got a beanie, yeah, so yeah. So I, I, I completely visible. missed, I completely missed mullet, Josh. I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh! Yeah, me it was, If I if I just turned this way, 
you could have noticed but i was very careful <laughs> like no you're only going to see it from this <laughs> angle it was what, what level of, <laughs> what level of mullet were we at was it like spider-man 2 james franco mullet <laughs> i feel like if it was anything beyond that people would have noticed but yeah it was about it was that like, level if i let it if i let it down and i didn't like gel it up or anything it was like touch it was like here <laughs> holy no shit oh, okay. yeah. yeah yeah wow Mm -hmm. You hid that very well. <laughs> Thank you. Josh and the Thank most you. secret mullet. Go back and watch the old Death Battle casts that I was on during quarantine. See if you can spot it. It's like, Sounds like, like a like Easter mullet. eggs. Josh and the <laughs> secret <laughs> mullet. I don't know, <laughs> it does sound like where, a where, show. It's the next Terry Potter. <laughs> oh, perfect. Exactly. There we go. Careful. Um, we're going to get flagged. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're off to hey. a great start, everybody. So, welcome to the uh, Death Battle Cast, a show where we don't actually talk about Death Battle or anything. Or we just <laughs> we actually work on right now. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, we just released a new episode of Death Race. Yeah. Whoop whoop. You yeah. know the, the show that we're doing for Rumble. a short time before Beep. Death Battle comes back. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so sure that it's <laughs> almost over. <laughs> We just started it, and it's we got one episode left. <laughs> it's great. No, it we, it's always been uh, intended as like a short mini series uh, to kind of help fill the gap between the two halves of Death Battle Season Seven. Um, of course, thanks to our sponsor for uh, helping fund the show and making it happen at all, uh, which is great. Um, and uh, it was an awesome opportunity, to sort of bring Ringmaster and Wiz and Boomstick together for the first time, uh, mm. which we haven't actually done before this, which is kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Billy, uh, how, was, how, was, how was that show to work on? How, how different was it compared to DBX? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's relatively the same for me because I'm kind of separated from you guys physically, uh, so we're not interacting quite as much, but uh, it was definitely something I was looking forward to. I wanted to see what happens when they kind of communicate back and forth a bit. So did you did you um, feel like you just kind of were able to get into the way it was written? Like, did, did Ringmaster fit pretty well to you or did you? Have yeah, to no, like I think he, he's written. It? He's written exactly the way he's written on DBX in terms of tone and stuff. He's just uh, he got a little bit of a different uh, direction to go with it and stuff like that. That hype man kind of exactly kinda role. Yeah. I think I think it's it's perfect. I, I was a really, really big fan of how Wiz and Boomstick, you know, commentating over the actual action adds a lot to the show that we you know we don't get with regular death battle because it's straight into the action they're not intercutting in the middle of it it's, it's a neat it's uh, actually dynamic something that we kind of played around with early i don't know if you remember this chad because it was like ages ago but we kind of talked a little bit about maybe wisdom moopstick uh a shout casting death battle like way back when we first you know built oh up yeah the show. it was one yeah, of the yeah, initial yeah, ideas yeah. um and and we ended up going with no they're not going because we thought so it would be annoying <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly that would be annoying and and we could really focus on the action and whatnot uh, and that was back when like i wasn't even planning for the fights to be like e excessive or or like really involved um like in my mind i thought like the the battles would be play out more like almost pokemon battles in the game where we just show attacks hitting each other if you go look back at the very first episode it kind of plays out that way um, but then I learned how to do a, a rack focus in animation, and I was like, okay, it's going to be cool. <laughs> <Instead>. <laughs> uh, and then I made a Dragon Ball fight for the second episode, basically, and it was like, ah, I'm throwing out that idea, and we're putting way more work into the fight than I initially intended. Um, hmm. And that's how Death Battle was born. So, um, I don't know, it might be interesting to try the shoutcasting thing with Death Battle, but it's definitely uh, fun to, to introduce a new show like Death Race and kind of experiment mm -hmm. with the I suppose traditional death metal formula um, mm. to to try new things because like theoretically death battle could fit the same format as death race. Obviously, we would need to do like a post race recap or whatever to determine who would win and why because that's not how death race works at all. <laughs> there goes Chad again because he hates that idea. Like he's out. Hard to yeah, that's it. I'm out. Mars, so no, my, it makes sense that you guys. The were, dog I came in with the kids, and this is up. the dog that can fucking open doors. And yet he just—he was just sitting there whining at it, and I'm like, "You know how to open doors." And he, but no, I had to go let him out. Whatever. It's like the cuter oh. version of the end of Jurassic Park with the raptors. <laughs> yeah, right. <Dude. laughs> 
It's so annoying. Like, oh my god. And he's like, he's like, it used to be that he just jumped at it and it hit it. And then he's so fucking smart that now he realized <laughs> that he get it's way more successful if he just stands on his hind legs, puts one paw against the wall for support, and then uh, so like almost like a human, and then just smacks it and pulls it with his other paw. Um, what is that? What's sneaking over? Yeah, in the I don't know. Cody's there. planning something, and then someone's typing furiously. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is we're we are so we are, we are yeah. very <laughs> well put together today. Yeah. We're welcome to chaos. The show starting right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we've started the show, uh, uh, so Death Death Race episode four is coming up next week. It'll be the last Death Race uh, before we start getting into the second half of Death Battle. We will be revealing Beerus's opponent very soon. Maybe you should tune into Death Race Episode 4 to find out. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, uh, and Death Race Episode 4 is a little different than the other ones. So because this is the last one we plan on doing, uh, at least for now, um, maybe Death Race can come back. Who knows? We'll see. Um, we we kind of... So Episodes 1, 2, and 3 have like themes, essentially, right? Like the first one is the Batmobile episode. The second one is the Living Cars episode. Third one is the battle cars or cars that were made to kill other cars episode. For the fourth one, we were kind of just like, well, we want to bring in, you know, Captain Falcon uh, and and some other uh, cars like the DeLorean, for example. I think everybody's guessed that one by now. Um, how do we bring all these random car ideas in to an episode and, and make it fit on theme? And we ultimately decided, eh. No theme. It's fine. Instead, <laughs> we'll have them all. We'll have all these just random ideas that we we want to bring into the race and can uh, logistically through like the source filmmaker engine and whatnot. Um, and instead, we'll give them a new goal, which is th they are delivering pizza. Because why not? <laughs> but it does it does uh, add a new element to the race because we have a new rule rule because death race has rules right not really um the first actual <laughs> rule other than finish the race right <laughs> basically uh yeah get to the and end the that's the piece. only rule except in this one they also have to deliver the pizza like intact so if the pe if they get to the end of the race and the pizza's like all messed up well you know it's a done one star up. review or whatever <laughs> <Doesn't> count <laughs> yeah. yeah they don't they didn't deliver their pizza correctly uh so <laughs> so that's what this episode is I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it'll oh, be fun, man. right, guys? Uh, <laughs> I had to. I had to write a strongly worded uh, email to uh, a a delivery service. Uh, <laughs> so they're not sponsoring us, so I'm not going to say their name. Uh, but this, <laughs> I had. Sorry. All right. Let me be real. It was like like one thirty in the morning, and I was really hungry, and we just didn't have food. And I'm like, you know what? I can get. I can get like a taquito from 7 Eleven. All right. Don't judge me. Um, but <laughs> so, so I, I ordered this. And over my doorbell, I have a fucking piece of paper taped over the doorbell that says, Please knock. Kids are sleeping. And this motherfucker walks up, pushes his finger through the paper, hits the doorbell, waking up my whole house, including the dog. And then I got my wife who's mad, and I'm and I've got to explain to her, yes, it's it's what's 1 30 about about two o'clock now in the morning. And yes, I did. I did order a taquito from 7 Eleven. And I'm not proud of it. And now everyone's awake. <laughs> and aware of it. I think that was the first time I like just bombed someone's rating. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's he just funny. got there and was like, that's a weird looking doorbell. Yeah, uh, dude, uh. <laughs> like, like pushed his finger like a hole through the paper? No, it, I mean, it flexed in, but still, it was just impressive that like this, the complete disregard <laughs> for anything. How did he no even know it was there? <laughs> like, he just like, well, you could sense it. Instinct? It, well, like, so it's, it's a ring spider doorbell. Spider sense the doorbell? Yeah, well, so it's a ring doorbell, so like it glows so that the camera can mm -hmm. like see normally. Uh, um, but yeah, he just so I guess he saw the outline that was glowing and then was just like, ah, fuck it. Like, I right. anyway, yeah, deserved that review. I think the worst <laughs> thing that's ever happened with me on a food delivery service was getting into a debate with the delivery guy through text message <laughs> about whether he delivered it to my <laughs> apartment or not. <laughs> like I could definitively go outside and look and see that that's not that there's no food there, but he's like, yeah, there is. 
It's like, no, sir, there's not. Uh, I, I went and checked. I entered the correct address and everything. Uh, then like a few minutes later, food's delivered. And then just like a text of shame and it was delivered to the right place. And I had my cold food. That's the worst that's ever happened to me. I have been waking up the whole household at 30 in the morning. That's that so that is, awesome, man. Uh, man, we had, I, I could derail this whole thing if you want. <laughs> we can go down this, we can go down this path. It depends, Welcome Ben, you want to keep talking cast. death we battle? Talk about <laughs> well, so, <laughs> so we were hanging out at Miles' uh, his house. It was like, uh, it was like me, Ellie, Miles, um, I don't remember who else. And we were like, oh, like I was on my way there, and they were like, Miles ordered pizza, and I was like, hell yeah, like I'll get in on that. And I got there, the pizza still wasn't there, and then it just never showed up. Like it was going over. Like at one point, the driver texted us, and Miles was texting with him, and then the guy stopped responding, and so it became this thing of like, at first we're just like, where is this dude? Like, he, surely he's got to be here soon. And then it like crossed, and then we're like, I was like, you know, what? I was like, fuck it, let's order from a rival pizza company, and ho like, let's see if they get here before this guy does. And then I was like, oh my god, what if they get here at the same time? That's gonna be so awkward. And be like, yeah, dude, I don't know where you disappeared to, but we ordered this place, and they got here like half the time. Um, <laughs> But so then, so new pizza place shows up, delivers our pizza. And then at this point, we've now become concerned for whoever our driver was. And safety like, of. We're like, did we read his last text? Like, did he die? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, mystery continues. Uh, we Miles got a refund. I, I just oh. assumed that guy just like gave up and was like, I'm just going to eat this pizza. Uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming you had multiple pizzas for a group of, what was it, four? That's, yeah, yeah, there's a few of us. So, like, yeah, yeah, there's, there's multiple. So, he just decided, yeah. All right. I have a family. They need pizza. Yeah, I don't know. It's just so, <laughs> so strange. And we're all so hungry. And because you want to give them the benefit of the doubt, because every time you're like, surely now, like, surely any second now. And then it just kept going. And I was like, it's been two hours. <laughs> like, this oh. is insane. Oh, man. I, I really, I was really hoping for that story to end with both of them arriving at the same time. Because I <laughs> no, was dude. like, that did I'll happen though. Pizza. We, we um, <laughs> back in the before times, we uh, we rented like an Airbnb for like a team building thing over at Core, and we were like the whole plan was just like, hey, we're all gonna like, get together, have some drinks, and like have some fun, and then like also just like film some stuff, like see what stuff comes out of it. And so one of the things we were like, let's have a race between Domino's, Papa John's, and Pizza Hut. We're all <laughs> we all got our laptops out, and we ordered the same pizza simultaneously from all three of them. <laughs> and then I think we, I don't think we I don't remember I don't think we let them know that it was a race. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we, <laughs> we all placed our bets to see who would arrive. We had a we had a whole little we made a paper plaque trophy to like give to the person and like celebrated for the guy who got there first. It was so fun. You can go watch that video. You can look it up. It's called like Pizza Delivery Race <laughs> so or something. That was a try know. run for this week's episode, basically. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the this, this is, the is, is this is, this is important inspired. related content. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's doing programming for Death Battle now? Because they like they need to end screen our pizza <laughs> race video and I'll change ours, even though it's old and like people aren't really watching it anymore. But I'll do it. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Uh, I could get in there and do that. That'd be great. <laughs> so this will be much one... more beneficial for the Rooster Teeth channel by far. Well, let's do it. <laughs> one pizza death race links to another pizza death race. The original Perfect. one, apparently. I love it. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, so that death race is coming up this weekend. Uh, you can watch mm -hmm. on Rooster Teeth Sunday if you're a first member. Uh, then it comes up on YouTube on Monday. Uh, and then Death Race is done. Goodbye, Death Race. See you, no. Billy. The end. <laughs> oh, yeah, Billy. I don't know if you... Yeah, you're, oh, you yeah, we're going to kill off the character, so... No, oh, okay, well... Yeah, spoilers. Uh, at the end of the race. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the race, the DeLorean accidentally lands on Ringmaster and kills him, so, you know. I, I would actually... I would actually not mind going out that way. I think that'd be... <laughs> no, he'd, he'd, get, he'd just be like... He'd be like way too empty. He's like, all right, then the next one... Uh, uh, like, what the... It's <laughs> like cardiac arrest. <laughs> down <laughs> and just has a heart attack in the middle of the race yeah and he's pretty fit so like you know boomstick would be yeah. a little you know there'd be some irony there boomstick would be like, eh. <laughs> like you know, it, it, it wasn't me yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> 
you're taking bets on oh, who's going to go first. I mean, Wizard Boopstick would do that. They would take bets on which of them would would, would, would die first. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like Wiz, Wiz would be confident has... that he would win, but also at the same time, just a little impressed that Boomstick is still alive for his lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> have, have we ever determined how old these characters are? Like nope. the ages? I don't, I don't think, think so. you've ever... How do you imagine that they've always been? Do they age as the show goes on? Or are they just kind of like those cartoon characters that like, are just completely immortal, never age, like a Bugs Bunny, mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse type of thing? Because I guess we don't know for about 100 episodes. So. I've always thought that they're in that cartoon, never age, weird limbo. Yeah, but they do have you know a history of being kids and going to college. Both of them went to well, yeah, some like, sort Bugs of Bunny has college. That. It's called Tiny That's Teen true. Adventures. Yeah, Boomstick has, I, I, his, I guess, has his degree I guess, in poultry science. Yeah, exactly. Um, and technically, they, they always have a history, but they never have an aged up, an aged up youth. What is, so, hey, hold on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> cool. I missed it. What happened? Cody? What did you say? Oh, oh, you cut oh, out. There we go. There's, there's a. Well, we got to fill your room. Like, it's right. so empty. I appreciate it. Hey, what the my, hell is with this Monopoly <laughs> graphic? I, I don't know. What? Hold on. My, so my own movie, one one. camera. It's the movie. Oh, Monopoly. Nick's room looked empty. Cody's just my, been adding stuff. <laughs> my, my, uh, my view of my camera was blocking the Mr. Monopoly emerging from the ocean. That was a revelation. <laughs> and I moved my own view out of the Cody, That's Cody if, you have any, if you have any Ninja Turtle material, I'm sure Nick would yeah, be totally fine yeah. with just oh, yeah, absolutely. plastering the walls Ninja Turtles, with Ninja Turtle stuff. Ninja Turtles and Banjo-Kazooie, the only two things I've talked about for like 15 years or so. <laughs> for a I thought you were going to go Ninja Turtles. And that's it, <laughs> as your list of things I mean, you like. <laughs> pretty much. We could just stop there. But Have you watched okay. uh, Rise of the Turtles? You know, I watched the first episode because I was curious, and I realized, I don't think this show is for me. Like, I really, really love the 2012 series. That I think that's, like, the best thing that has ever come out of the whole franchise, if I may be so bold. But uh, Rise of the Turtles, I am glad that it's got its fans. Uh, I'm just not one of them this time around, and that's okay. It is. It is definitely. So, it does definitely feel a, a lot more like a kids' cartoon than. I mean, they're all kids' cartoons, but. Um, but you can have it, a this kids' one cartoon. Definitely still has that vibe. But, you know, that Teen Titans kind of vibe. Uh, but man, the animation is so good. There, there was a. Yeah, there was it a is. Clip I appreciate that much. <laughs> shared around on Twitter recently. Oh my god! There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> just put that in the corner there. You know, next to the flowers. Just dump the poster on top Perfect. of everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the chat is <laughs> speculating notice. on Wizard Broomstick's age. Uh, Ethan Winnix is close to 30s. Uh, floating shopping list is mid 20s. Uh, Boomstick says, daughter. So I think that he's in his early 40s. And then, and this is what I like. There, then we get we get some like math in here. We got a guessing 30 to 37. And then wait, where is it? Where to go? Somebody was basically saying that they got to be 40s or 50s because Boomstick's been married multiple times and has a kid. Now, listen. How many times has Boomstick been married? Uh, you can, you can be 18 and be married multiple times if you make really bad choices. Um, or if you just so, go to Vegas, you know? Which, I mean, right. those, uh, it's Boomstick be, here. Yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's be real. So, so, some of those marriages didn't, didn't last long. Like, I think one time when we improv it was like we didn't even make it out of the chapel. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the thing before yeah. it was annulled. Um, no, I, uh, that was uh, Josh's script. Josh wrote yeah, that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for, yeah, Goral versus Machamp. That, yeah, like, that's one of the marriages. She leaves you for a four armed guy at the reception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what yeah. it was. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, um, hey, on the note of how old are these cartoon characters that you don't think about the ages of? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember where I heard this anymore. Chat, I'm sure somebody will back me up. But did you know that Super Mario is canonically 25 years old? Hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? He's canonically, yeah. Just wait for the chat to catch up with me saying this part. Somebody's going to have the link. They're going to have. But Captain, the but Captain Lou Albano played him, and he he's not passing for 25 <laughs> in the Super Mario oh, Brothers Super Show. It. 
Bob Hoskins played him in that. So, uh, can Sony Photoshop Bob Hoskins, Hoskins in the fucking hello, fellow kids? <laughs> like me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mario. I knew that because I'm pretty sure we have that in the Mario vs. Sonic Death Battle. Hmm. There you go. It's just one of those things Although, that, like, I know in the back of my head, but I refuse to accept. He is always older than I me. Am, he can never be younger than me. It's the mustache. That's so weird. I, 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 I'm currently looking at oh. the unofficial Death Battle Bible, aka the Battle Fan Wiki, to see if we've got any, like, clues about how old Boomstick and Wiz are. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sure Lord. they've written it down somewhere. <laughs> I'm also um, super curious in like the continuity of Death Battle. Like, has it been ten years for the characters, or has this just been like one crazy afternoon? Is it like just the back to Pokemon back. anime where Ash is just ten years old for twenty years, no matter how many episodes? Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's had a birthday in canon, <laughs> he's still ten years old. <laughs> Cody, well, I like slack you something. Or... Please bring it up. Bob's Burgers, they have countless Halloween or Halloween specials and stuff, right? So, oh, so it's even worse. Oh my gosh. 24? Oh, he's 24. Oh, wow. What? No, and this is—I'm telling you, this is about to change. This is going to do it for you. You're about to believe. Cody, bring up that image whenever you can, or we'll talk about something else, and then it'll pop up because I now just put him on the fly. Um, I, I I looked for a thing and I solved it, and there's a very clear reason as to why he looks older, and it is scary. <laughs> When you uh, see this, just... we'll see. We'll get there. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh. That's so him without it. the mustache. Yeah, He's a he baby. looks like a twenty-four-year-old or or a four-year-old. <laughs> it's yeah, just like... the stash, dude. He's just like he can just grow that power stash that instantly ages him. It looks like. All right, now it's for... time for what's Fix going on. Like... Sure. <laughs> Hey, the world's crazy right now, and uh, it might be a little bit drab and boring, but I got some way you can spice it up a little bit, and it's with a box of awesome sent straight to your door or mailbox uh, via Bespoke Post, one of today's wonderful sponsors. Let's see, these guys got awesome stuff. Like, it's a huge array of things, and they send you a box each month, or you can just get them, you know, a la carte, and the boxes include all sorts of stuff. This month they got one I particularly like, which is like a tiki bar setup that comes with awesome golden pineapple cups. Uh, but if that's not your thing, they got tons of stuff from camping to kitchenware to like just like a dope Damascus knife because who doesn't need cool shit like that? Uh, probably wasn't supposed to swear, but I am just that jazzed up about it because it's dope as hell. So yeah, if you want to check out one of these boxes, you can go to boxofawesome.com and get 20% off your first monthly box by entering the code BATTLECAST at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code BATTLECAST for 20% off your first box. Go give it a look. Anyways, we're going to get a back to the show now and... Well, I'm actually going to go back to looking at the cool boxes, but you can get back to the show and then look at cool boxes. Do both. Who doesn't have two monitors? Go do both. Bye. As always, we are so uh, organized and professional here. Um, yep. So I would love for everybody to keep speculating on Wiz and Boobstick's ages. And if anybody has any uh, hints or whatever that they put in the chat, we'll bring it up. But, oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, they're still good. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I just wanted to mention real quick uh since josh is here um that he is a, a working very hard on well <laughs> two series one that's out and one that's coming um recorded by arizal mm, j- yeah. is, is out and really want to promote it josh what have you been doing for that show oh, but, oh so much for so long i realized this the other day i've actually been working on recorded by arizal longer than i've been working on death battle isn't that crazy what what? Because when I when I joined the company, I was working on Top Tens and Desk of Death Battle. And in the middle of that is when I started collaborating with Issa on Recorded by Arsal. And I didn't start working on Death Battle until January of 2019. And we were already oh, like a full year into the development of that show at that time. So we've That's been working crazy. on Recorded by Arsal for so long. And we're so happy that the character is finally here. I, I developed the show with Issa. Uh, I write on the show and I I edited every episode of this prequel series. So a lot of time and love (laughs) went into this show and you should all check it out because I really think you you'll love it. We were uh, (laughs) hoping to get Issa on for this for this episode. Unfortunately, she was busy and wasn't able to jump in. But uh, Josh has been working with it almost uh, as long 
Um, yeah, so we settled and, for Josh. Is what that said. Yeah, so you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 an adorable show, and and I love uh, what you and Eve have done with it. Um, and RSL is definitely a very an extremely relatable character. Uh, yeah. So I highly recommend everybody check it out. The first episode is out on YouTube. Um, and, uh, I believe the second episode is already out on Rooster Teeth for first mm-hmm. members at this point. Pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, animation it's a really fun show. It. Yeah. The animation is yes. gorgeous. I mean, they, they pour through it mm-hmm. like, oh man, they're literally going frame by frame, making sure everything's perfect. Like we literally just did another round of QC yesterday because Tanya and Issa are finding little bits to fix and they, they just love it so much. And in terms of like the character being relatable, it's crazy because we wrote it last fall. And now we live in a world where everyone's talking in their bedrooms to webcams, and it's like <laughs> insanely relatable in a way we never could have <laughs> yeah. predicted. Like, yeah. it just feels yeah, so that is kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even think about that, but yeah. the fact that it is a she is literally in her bedroom or in her room, very much like we are. <laughs> Hello, yeah. uh, except for Nick and his weird, um, you know, void <laughs> sterile room. Like, but, like hey, Ari, Ari <laughs> Nick, you know, like blink twice if you're locked crazy. in there. Okay, like, <laughs> and need help. <laughs> Every time we get to Nick, there should just be more and more stuff. In oh, yeah, Cody's been adding it. <laughs> I love it, Cody. Keep it I up. like that Cody's just been adding it, and I haven't seen any of it. I think partly because at the beginning of the show, my uh, webcam was covering up my part of the screen, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the more Cody, can you stuff can you curl you can out better. one of those walls or maybe both the walls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give them like a nice beach deep, view though. or something. Like if we can <laughs> get rid of one of them. Time, it reminds me of that time at uh, old school screw attack when I did a video where I chroma keyed out the sky. That was fun to be able to find. That was video. fun. Oh, we also oh, it's trying. The whole oh yeah, it's trying. <laughs> there there were many green screen fun. We did that I mean, <laughs> when we. When we painted that new office, which I guess was two screw tag offices ago, we, yeah. we oh, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, no. Oh, He's no. trying to find it. Oh, <laughs> finding that sweet spot. <laughs> oh, your two face by the darkness. <laughs> Hey, it's it's hey, everyone. Oh god. <laughs> How's it going? Oh god, my nightmares. Oh, the I eyes. Oh, the bad. eyes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> My wife is right on the other side of this wall working right now. She's going to have some questions when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Well, that... It's trying. That just broke my brain. I, you remember we were recording side scrollers and Brian turned on Chrome and it did that shit to me. And it, that was that meth Chad meme that went around, which that was fun. That was uh, the first yeah. thing Go I Go ahead and of. Google that meth Chad and I'm sure it'll come up. <laughs> yep. Um, good Lord. Oh, the chat just caught up. Sorry. This is going to be <laughs> fun. My but then also we had that green so hallway. Meth Chad. Yeah, I remember the green the painted hallway. that hallway green, and it was like the first day we moved in. I was like, I look forward to the day that we chroma key out <laughs> this hallway, <laughs> and then we finally did it for the stupid Kid Icarus fan film yeah. part two. It was awesome. It was uh, fantastic. That's one of my favorite videos we ever made, Kid Icarus <laughs> fan film one and two. It was so good so we made a sequel. It was real bad. <laughs> uh, the sequel was like, so it was the, the plot where it's like years later, and he's the grizzled old man who's too old for that. Ah! Wait, there's guys. alcoholic <laughs> that was great hold on we, we it's were getting so good. oh it's getting there we're getting there oh, you're, you're a magician nick you're Why, nick, predator, you're predator is currently watching just nick Kurt. um oh, what man. is that nick's only nick's shirt has shirt heat red. like his body yeah, is not hey, i mean Stop. i'm gonna say right now if you guys are listening to the audio version of this podcast Probably not the best call. You might want to come mistake. check out the video <laughs> on either roosterteeth.com or the YouTube channel because I realize totally this bad. entire show has been riddled yes. with important visual information. So, <laughs> audio you know, at the beginning of each show, I'm always like, everybody needs to talk when I say their name just for the audio version. And then after that, every time I just forget that the audio version exists <laughs> and we're just going to yeah. go. Oh, well. Um, that sorry, is- guys. <laughs> Oh, there we go! There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. On the beach. Right. It's like he's buried in the beach. 
I have no hair or body. I'm just <laughs> head and arms. But at least right, I have like, my like Mario and out. my Ninja Turtles yeah. and my my Pokemon yeah. and my kid. M- mustache I don't know like is, Mario is coming out from over the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Not even over. Hold on, hold on. I bet As you if I do one this, with the I can just. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> now, now I am just. Ready. <laughs> oh man, I love what the Cody show. What kind of guest? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> anyway, that's what's going on. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, real quick, the other show that Josh is working on is Red versus Blue. It's going to be really cool. You should oh, check yeah, out Red versus shit. Blue Zero when it comes out. Hey, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a little promo for you. <laughs> Cody, yeah. save us. Rayman Nick says, Help. go watch it by Arizal. Go watch it. It's good. Cody's yeah. intentionally not turning that on just to make you look dumb. Cody, Great help. job. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I noticed. Cody. Cody, help. Before you get on with more show, let me tell you about Cuts, who's the bad boys that make cool t-shirts like these. Why am I not wearing it right now? Well, because it's hard to show you a t-shirt that you're wearing, or else I would be wearing my Cuts t-shirt. <laughs> I sound like I'm reading off a script, but I'm not. I'm just an idiot. But seriously, this t-shirt is dope. They got the drop tail, which is something I love on a t-shirt. They got a cool little little X on the side because that's dope and it makes your shirt different and they just do a bunch of different things that make a better shirt that a lot of people aren't screwing with like annoying tag no thank you there's a sew down so it doesn't do that thing on the back of your neck where it gets all itchy and makes you think there's a bug crawling on you if you're outside uh and yeah like the neckline is dope it's elastic it's not going to do that weird bacon thing it's not like a huge neckline that's going to get just terrible everything about it is just like a better engineered shirt to the point where when they sent me this product sample a little bit ago, I went out and got three more and I might have used our own promotion code, which I don't know if you're allowed to do, but deal with it, Cuts. That's what you get for making a nice shirt. So yeah, let me tell you about this promo code so you can get some dope Cuts shirts too. Cause uh, that's, you know, it's a good shirt. So go to Cuts, uh, the only shirt worth wearing, and you can go to cuts.com slash cast for 15% off the only shirt worth wearing. Uh, that's a bold statement, Cuts, but if I am going to be wearing a plain-ish normal t-shirt without buttons, I, yeah, I do. I'm going to prefer Cuts these days because this shirt actually is dope as hell. Um, so, yeah, go. Get 50% off your first order by going to Cuts.com slash Cast. That's Cuts.com slash Cast. Yeah, pretty easy. Enjoy it because they are seriously a good shirt. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, there's a new DBX out, uh, Yang versus Bakugo. Uh, the vote was incredibly close. Like, just ridiculously close. Down? Why are you pitching <laughs> Ben's oh, Bakugo, okay, Cody? You're getting drunk with power. No, that's not me. That's not me. Uh, ben, you Hello? should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so weird. There's no, really, wasn't you? Was great. No, that's for real, not me. I don't, I, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> I love it. Welcome to the Death Battle cast. We are ah! something. You're peaking is what you are. Yeah, you're peaking like crazy. Did you crazy. Hit? What? I haven't done anything. Other, dude, after you got close to Whisper to Cody, your mic went crazy. Uh, hmm. yeah. Welcome to the Death Battle cast. Does oh, that sound God. okay? No, no, no. No, it sounds very not okay. Here, but <laughs> scoot back about five <laughs> to ten feet. Oh, we'll oh God. You. From I'm gonna go get a How drink. That? Guy's gonna leave. Let's How about now? Out. Am I okay. am I torturous to the ears okay. now? What is happening? <laughs> okay. This. this is just an unmitigated uh, disaster at this point. Um. Well, if you can't hear me very well, somebody else has to take over. No, we can hear you perfectly fine. We Where did Chad go? To get a drink. Get a drink. Apparently. As if that's gonna fix this at this point. Chad. You're like the only other person here who's a regular on the show. I mean, I guess Josh, you're here. You're that didn't take late. long. You get to help take over. Sure. Hey, could, so DBX is a thing. Uh, I, I get here. Hold on. I'll pull up the rundown. I'll let you get into full hosting mode. Give me a moment. Uh, There's a rundown. Yang versus Bakugo. 
X Wing versus R Wing is the next DBX. Community Death Battle is Mach 5 versus Blue Falcon. There you go. I think you're good if you just talk a little quiet. Episode DBX. Yeah, see, that sounds versus Bakugo. ASMR bed. Yeah. No, oh, now he's got now robot he's band. Robot, 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 robot band. <laughs> Whispering robot band. Versus Blue Falcon is the next community death battle. The Mach 5 versus the Blue Falcon. <laughs> you can you guys voted on it and we have answers. Go. Pull. All right, let's do the first answer. Throw that up there. The Mach 5 Museum, I wonder who he's rooting for, goes for the Mach 5. Uh, with its amazing gadgets and top speed, it could outtake anything the Bly, Fal <laughs> the Bly Falcon throws at it, along with the help of the mysterious Racer X. I wonder who that guy is. So, are we allowing, no, did we say, help, I don't right? remember last week, did we say that um, we're allowing the, the people or we're just analyzing the cars? And Ben's gone. So we'll make it up as we go. That's a good question. Um, I, I'd say, I think let's, their let's call see. is kind of just both, He's right? thinking yeah. about it really hard. Because if it's both, yeah. like, I think, uh, you know, the you know Captain Falcon's got a pretty distinct advantage over speed. <laughs> um, the second he gets out of that car, he's... Like, just he just jumps out of the car and Falcon punches <laughs> the Mach 5 into oblivion. Um, mm -hmm. What is the Mach 5's top speed? Is it actually Mach 5? Because if it's anything less than that, it's a frog. <laughs> I never even thought about that before. Front five. <laughs> like canonically, the uh, F zero vehicles can go uh, faster than okay. the sound. I, that's, Sorry, who's that? I, I was Sam's on. here. Like, I was trying to do Sam real then work. transforms into in Sam. Real... <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I've been trying to do real work, and y'all have just been bombing this shit so hard. <laughs> uh, it's been wonderful to watch on the side. Just it, it's so good. Um, but yeah, no, you guys, the mock next week let's do six people, people. Of it, please. Hello. Just um, every week, add more. Wait, people. now do we have? Can you hear me? Oh, now Ben is Josh. <laughs> the heck? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> can you hear hey me? Sam. Have I been? I'll silent? see you guys next week or whenever I fix this. I don't know what the problem is. All right, bye, Ben. Love you, Ben. Okay. <laughs> let's take it back two steps. I wanted to talk about DBX a little bit just because uh, this is the closest one we've ever had. So close. The vote was, the vote literally, we went to close the poll and the vote was split 50 50 with like, I think it was 6,736 votes each, like to the dot. And then we just waited like 30 minutes and then four more people voted for Bakugo. And like Bakugo won by four votes at the end of the day. Is how it was mm -hmm. out of like the thirteen thousand some hundred votes. That's insane. Four votes. Mm -hmm. count. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, so so yeah, say, we'll probably be doing I, a I, death I battle think, on this in the future. <laughs> yeah, I mean maybe. Uh, yeah, I honestly think like it was the people in that chat because like it was like uh, death battle producer Scott and like Gerardo and shit. I think they just went and voted, and that was probably what changed it. But yeah, it was a it was dead tie, <laughs> super fifty fifty. And then I guess they were like, nah, fuck Yang. Um, so, yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> Anyways, we can... I know I what you're know doing. What the fuck trying to do. yeah, I, I know what you're so, doing. Oh, I do. Yeah. See you. Um, oh, you're so, let me just, can I just point out that, like, you know that this show is so fucked up and off the rails when Sam Mitchell has to come in and help get it, it yeah. organized. Like... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm full producer mode today, but yeah, um, the Mach 5 can't go Mach 5. Uh, it's around, the top speed is actually around like 500 miles per hour, which is insane for a car. Uh, I think there are different versions of the Mach 5 that might be able to exceed that, but the one you're thinking of tops out at like 500. Um, That's a shame. So yeah, Let's read an real, answer for the Blue Falcon. Five. Yeah. Or Any not. Of those Mach, those uh, F0 cars. He, no, it's because he doesn't have the asset ready because he's too busy. Fucking yeah. with Nick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. Um, this one comes from F4 Falcon. I love that we got one from the clearly Speed Racer like fan <laughs> account, and this one is is, F is Twitter handles F Zero Kid. All right. Fair and balanced. So F F Zero machines literally survive collisions at speeds one and a half times the speed of sound. So the tools Mach Five have are one too slow and two too weak, comparatively speaking. Also, F Zero also have to adhere to certain guidelines in order to participate in the GP. So it's likely. Uh, it's it's that like they have even more crazy shit. 
Yeah, it's likely I, they can go even faster. Some of them do space travel and shit like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to um, say the Mach 5 for sure. Yeah, this is actually. I'm sorry, just say Mach 5, five Blue Falcon yeah. for sure. Sorry. Yeah, and Blue, now we Blue have Falcon five sure. people we can't actually tie anymore, which is really cool. Oh, I'm yeah. all about this. Um, I, I'm going to do Mach 5 solely because its movie slaps harder than anything f-zero the f-zero anime is not good the okay. movie yeah the movie is surprisingly good um and just based on that i'm voting for the mach 5. you know we don't know where the monkey and the kid are either they could easily be on board the bridal and the, they are yeah. they are in the yeah. trunk they are always <laughs> like hidden in that damn box <laughs> so, like well, they make it a... because they could be causing problems for the other ship yeah yeah but like What's oil slick gonna do to a car that hovers above the track at the end of the day? I mean, you know what I yeah, mean? right. I mean, it would it could be it would be very emotionally taxing if you know the kid and the monkey suddenly fall out of the trunk and you know the blue falcon just like poof, nails them right. Like you just killed a kid and like and a wacky fun animal. So like that's gotta that's gotta really mess with your head. Captain Falcon will just like drive off the cliff in shame or something like that. I've yeah, there you done. go. There we go. Chad Sorry, it's, 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 it's got me leaning toward that direction. Blue Falcon. Sign up for first. <laughs> you should. You that. That's it. That's all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, these are, <laughs> these are absolutely thing. insane, oh, crazy times. Uh, and, you know, one of the ways you guys can support us. And if you are a first member, thank you so much because you get crazy times and where you choose to spend your money is you know very very extra important right now um and the fact that you continue to support us and allow us to do what we do is incredibly amazing and we love you for it if you guys are interested in uh, first membership uh you get discounts on the merchandise store you can get uh exclusive content only made for you you get to watch everything early um and uh then also normally uh, our rttv which is live we do this podcast live we do a bunch of live shows normally that would be a first exclusive um but in the crazy times of the pandemic, we've opened that up, and that's why we have an extra thank you for first members for kind of allowing that to be for everybody to entertain people in these times. So, if you guys want to check it out, you can sign up for a trial by clicking the little button up there. It's up there. Give it a shot, and thank you. Love you guys. There, yeah. I was professional that, for a moment. Are you happy? We did it. Is this a goodbye show now? Do we say bye? Uh, do, what do we know? We need to do next week's okay. Community Death Battle. <laughs> right. Oh shit! You're right. Um. Hey, Billy, you got something? Nick, one of y'all? I don't know. Uh, it's usually guests, and now we have two guests, so it's difficult. Oh, no. God. Which okay, one? now here's uh, how you do it. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Billy fun. should pick one, and Nick should pick one, right? Exactly, but here, but, but Josh, oh, yeah. we're, we're yeah, in, yeah. The, in, the, in the spirit of this shit show, Billy, I want you to think of a character. Nick, oh, I want you to think three, of a character. Right? And we're going to do it on three, and they're both going to say it, and that's going to oh, be the yeah. matchup. No matter okay. what. Okay, let right. me know when you, you both have, have a character, character in mind. mind. I have one in mind. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Three. I'll do the countdown. Oh, oh now fine. Chad's got it. Chad will do the countdown. Yeah, no, steal my thunder. Go ahead. No, I'll Sam, you just got here. Go ahead. I'll just, no, I'll sit back. Okay, okay. One, two, three. The Pac Juggernaut. Man. The Juggernaut versus Pac Man? Pac -Man? <laughs> Okay, all right. Ship it. Yes! Ship it. Okay. <laughs> that worked out better wonderful. than I could have possibly imagined. Uh, <laughs> we're good. Like, how do you interpret Pac-Man? That's what a lot yeah. of this is going to come down to. That's that's the interesting no, part uh, about all that. Well, so keep in mind he's got the, he's got those like the Pac-Man World games. Yeah. There's also like the new the new Pac-Man now is like crazy. He's got a show and like all sorts of like powers, like chameleon stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like there's... And the, the 3D platformer games had a bunch of wild stuff for them. So yeah, they did. You can smash that tree. Look, yeah, <laughs> smash gotcha. that tree. Go um, back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we never finished the, battle, the vote uh, on the Mach Five Blue Falcon oh, either. Shit, or... we did it? No, we've been That's really bad. Up. Way to go, Sam. Yep. Uh, hey, it's on no, you now. You're in the no, you're in the position I... of power. Yeah, yeah, I think I I uh, didn't give Cody that asset, but I can tell you right now that it is. Well, actually, I mean, I can just actually go ahead and just screen share because I have that ability. Let me see if this works. Oh, yeah, boom! There you go. There we go. Powers. Look at how many tabs. Quick, scour his, scour his screen for information and secrets. 
Like, no, hey. don't you dare. There might actually be something there. Yeah, that's what I was like, like it's a bad call, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's see. Let me look at him now. No, no, we're great, man. Great. <laughs> you see that I have uh, some, some Ruby D&D docs open, but you don't get to see anything from that, so deal with it. Yeah, that's our life. That's it. 78% Falcon. Goodbye. Good night. Host your time. <laughs> Listen, Good luck. If you guys Bye. have stuck around to the end, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope this was Sorry fun. Sorry you haven't had anything better you're to real do. Champions. But we are grateful that you're yeah. here. Josh is putting his hand out. Uh, all right. Well, Just thanks so video. much for watching the show. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again if you're a tolerant person. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you guys. <laughs>